Ah, uh, welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Ah, uh, so today I wanted to talk to you about the Outlaw. Now I haven't really given this sniper rifle too much of a chance, but let's just see what it can do. Now, as you can see, it's incredibly lethal, and not just that, but it's accurate. So I thought I might jump in a couple of games and check it out. I had to use it for a challenge, and ever since then, I've just been using it. Normally, I was using the uh, DLQ 33 or the Arctic 50 or even the Kilo, but. I don't know, this thing seems to just do well. Close quarters, long range, does it all. Which is good. Like, honestly, I suck at sniping, but this thing just feels clean. And not just that, but even in close quarter situations, it, it kind of feels like you're just using a shotgun with a side. <laughs> See, I don't know whether it got buffed from when it first came out or whether it got changed. Honestly, the main reason why I didn't use it is because it was a six shooting gun, so I figured it would be like that other gun where it sticks aiming down sights, and as you probably know, on mobile it's not really the best thing to be stuck aiming down sights like that. Having to toggle it on and off, it's better to get a quick scope, keep moving. And I must say, Call of Duty, out of all the mobiles, like all the mobile games, shooters, this one sniping feels the best. Yeah, I'll toggle in like that and then shoot. It's awesome. Or with the one button. It really gives you the controller, but more games need to do that. Man, how is this man going to make Like, he hasn't killed me once, hasn't come for any objectives. Was he just sitting in one spot killing everyone? Or... People like that really annoy me because, like, you're only screwing the team over by being toxic and stupid like that. It's domination, dude. It ain't team deathmatch. It ain't frontline. You gotta just play the objective. Every time I'm on this map doing this, I always lay down for these kids. Look how easy it is to just look over there to where they are. Can't count how many times before I started laying down, I got sniped. Just taking C at the start of the game by some smart ass. Alright. Should have taken my time a bit more and aimed for the head, but my mistake. I'm also not sure if you can get higher damage ammo with this or if this is the damage it's capable of with, but he has no idea. There's two ways to come from dipshit. Right, start taking this back. I don't understand how people fall for trip mines like that, like it's a giant red line coming from the ground. You'd think you'd notice and be like, oh shit. Don't step on that. I think I also mentioned uh, in a past video I've also been using that uh, the healing perk. So when you get kills or you're capturing objectives, you regenerate health straight away. 
It's just handy for people that are those losers that want to sit there and they're going to wait till you're already injured in a fight and take you out with a couple of shots. You know the type of people. Man, where was I just aiming? <laughs> like I said, I'm not the best sniper, but this sniper rifle works good. Enemy contact. But yeah, I was using scavenger previous to that because scavenger is just so handy. You got to pick up ammo. You got to kill streak going. You can keep it going. I'm gonna just miss seven shots on this man <laughs> in a second. I make the mistake of when I shoot, I step sometimes. So I may seem not the best sniper. That man went blazing in there, he was like desperate for that kill and he ran straight over a hive like you know I'm shooting that at your feet, right? <laughs> Alright, well that was the outlaw. Pretty good gun. I would recommend using it. A lot of fun. <laughs> I think that's all we got time for, so thanks for watching.